Hey, Catacomb Culture. My name is Alyssa. I'm the case manager for NEPA Paranormal. And my name is Megan, and I'm one of the investigators for NEPA Paranormal. So in this video, we're going to touch on eight different signs that your space is haunted and kind of touch base on all of those and give you detail. One of the common signs that you may be in a haunted space um, is you might hear voices or things being moved. The most important thing to do when you have that happen is to check the history. Um, there may have been something that happened in the location you're at. Um, there may have been something that happened outside the location. It may be the ground that the location is built on. So what you want to do is you want to investigate, do a little bit of investigation yourself to find out what actually happened on that place where you're experiencing it. Some other signs that your location might be haunted. Um, the feeling of hands touching you, somebody watching you. Um, kind of stepping in a spot in your house and just automatically feeling depressed or cold or your energy just being drained. Um, there are certain people, um, animals for instance, too, that might be very sensitive to these things. Animals can see things we can't, children can see things we can't. And then of course there is the uh, sensitive person, medium, empath, somebody like that, that would be more susceptible to um, feeling those things or hearing those things in a house. So another sign that your space might be haunted is you may see things moving. Um, it could be little things like loose change or maybe you see a door shut and you know there was no air moving it. Um, another common sign is you might see that shadow out of the corner of your eye and you're the only person home so you know that it's no one else. Um, those are some very typical signs. Um, might not necessarily be intelligent if you see shadows, could just be something like we were touching on earlier, residual. Someone who's in that space who's been there before you and will continue to be after you. So another telltale sign um, of a haunting, you're going to hear sounds, um, more commonly whispers, footsteps, the sounds of people talking in a low tone or maybe even a louder tone. Um, very typical pieces of evidence that we catch are going to be um, EVPs. Those are the sounds you're not going to hear. Or maybe you do hear them and they're very faint and then this way we can take that evidence, clean it up and really listen to it to see what they're saying. Another um, good piece of evidence, disembodied voices. Those are the voices you're actually going to hear real time. And again, that's something we can clean up with a recorder and see what it's actually saying. But if it's a good disembodied voice, you're going to understand what it's saying right in front of you. You might start to experience unique smells. Um, something that's not typical of your surroundings. You might get a scent of someone's perfume and you know that no one in your household wears that perfume. Or you might smell cigarette smoke or cigar smoke and you know no one smokes. Um, on the opposite end of the spectrum, um, if you're dealing with something like a demonic activity, you might start to smell something putrid, like something has passed away and something has died. Um, so those are things to kind of look out for um, and be sensitive to that because that might be the sign that your space is haunted else you want to look out for are lights flickering, electrical disturbances, um, light bulbs being burnt out relatively quickly, um, battery drainage, um, electronics in your house either shutting on and off by themselves, which again, there could be a very rational cause for all of this and that's why we get called in most times is to debunk these um, findings and see if it actually is spiritual activity or if it's just, um, you know, your iPhone acting up. Um, another thing you might experience as far as energy goes are temperature drops. Spirits like to drain the energy from the area they're in by pulling from that space, which could result in very um, big temperature fluctuations. Um, pets and children are much more sensitive to the paranormal than we are. So the pets are going to be your first sign that's go that it's going to kind of tell you if your space has something else going on. Um, your pets may start to look into a specific area, um, you know, stare off into space and there's nothing there. Um, they may bark or growl and there's absolutely nothing around. Um, they may be afraid to go into a specific area. Um, if, it's, if it's an intelligent spirit and it's a spirit that comes into your household, they may develop a fear of a certain area that wasn't there before. Um, so pets definitely have the ability um, to see spirits, to hear spirits in a way that the humans don't. So just to recap, we're just going to go over ways um, to help alleviate or get rid of a haunting in your house. One of the ways, obviously, give us a call. Um, if we're not local to you, uh, we'd be more than happy to help you find a paranormal group if you haven't found one on your own. Again, you want to make sure it's a very reputable group. We're a registered nonprofit. 
in the TAPS family, so we know what we're doing. We've been doing this for a while. Um, you don't want to sign a group that's, uh, you know, bad reputation or just in it for the attention. We don't want that. They're not going to help you. Um, another thing you could do again, saging. You can sage your space, but again, find somebody that knows how to do it or really research um, and understand how to do a saging in your own house. Another person you can try to contact, priest, clergyman, rabbi. They will definitely help you out. Um, and then lastly, like we said before, spiritual healer, Reiki practitioner, they're great. They will help you close whatever door has been opened inside of your space. In this video, we covered eight signs of hauntings and how to get rid of hauntings. I hope you found this information fun and educational in a creepy way. Feel free to look us up on um, it's NEPA Paranormal at facebook.com. And you can also get in touch with me on Instagram, Morticia Mama at instagram.com.